All right, this is your boy Juggernaut again, out with another video. All right, this this time I'm gonna be doing uh, my very first UAC series video. I've done other videos about UAC, but this is uh, specifically about UAC strategy. Okay, so today we're gonna be talking about pre-planning, what you can do for your alliance before the event even begins, right? So before, right now, as it stands, Kingdom Raid um, is before reset, and if you look here at the timer, let's go in, okay, that's Crown Evasion, whoops, I always misclick, it's just, it is what it is, alright, Ultimate Alliance Campaign, alright, so it says it's going to begin in 16 minutes, alright, so let's go to the Kingdom Clock. All right, just for a time reference. All right, so this will tell you it starts at about 40 minutes. I think it's 40 or 45 minutes after reset. Okay, so what an organized alliance will do, right? Maybe one that's been around a long time or maybe you've got a lot of old players playing, right? If you look around here, we've got a bunch of camps, but it's not just camps, right? You take all those farms that you guys have hopefully been building, which if you haven't, then I'd start now. Um, no time like the present, right? So all these farms, and you, I mean, this isn't even our farm alliance here, uh, right? This is uh, an old alliance. It's still kind of kicking, right? So, well, we're using the rest of the terrain to our advantage, okay? So... I mean, the enemy's not going to get close to us. Not unless we let them in. You know? Um, if you look at my farm. You know, I got my farms here. So my farm's taking one spot, right? Well, this farm has five marches as long as it's got VIP available. So there's five camps. They could be organized a little bit better. I was a bit rushed. So I tried to account for any tiles that would go go missing. Or, or beasts that might eventually disappear or get hit, right? So, there are things you have to account for, but, I mean, the, the farms aren't going anywhere. Um, and this should make it, you know, so, especially if you're a smaller alliance or you don't have a whole bunch of 40s and you get a really, really terrible matchup, right? Um, I really haven't taken the time to look at our... Okay, so we've got 86, Kingdom 13... 86, 104, 125, 193, 397, 440, right? So, I mean, we're the youngest kingdom. It doesn't mean we're going to be the worst. Uh, with the correct strategy, you, you, can, you can deal with these absolutely terrible matchups, okay? Um, but, you know, it does take some pre-planning. It takes a bit of strategy. Um, that's why I kind of wanted to make this series. This is only about, this particular video is only about pre-planning your alliance. I mean, everybody's going to have a different one. You're going to be in a different location. Maybe you're going to have more farms or less farms, right? So this is uh, the very first video in the UAC series. If you guys have any comments, questions, suggestions, um, you know, let us know. Uh, or let me know, right? Um, I am kind of working with a few people to... Uh, devise a proper strategy for smaller alliances uh, or people that have less uh, active players, whatever the case may be, right? Because, I don't know, despite popular opinion, creating a new castle every three to six months or every year just doesn't seem financially viable. Um, I know it costs more to upkeep a bigger castle, but, I mean, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Everybody's got their own opinion. So let's see what, what we can do as a smaller alliance to uh, combat the bigger ones or the older ones, right? So we'll see what happens later today. And we got Kingdom Raid here in seven days. But we're actually just talking about Ultimate Alliance, right? Uh, Alright, so sometimes you'll see this right before. Um, and this basically just tells you that, you know, uh, 
not to get technical, but it, but it, it, it's going maybe to a different server, right? It's connecting everybody so that uh, so you guys can play. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here. Again, please, comments, questions, suggestions. Um, they're always appreciated, you know, especially when there's a bit of back and forth because everybody has a different way of doing things. And I like listening to all versions, you know, especially the newer guys and the older guys, you know. They, they, they see things that maybe, you know, we'll overlook because we're so used to doing it our own way. This is your boy, Jug. Getting ready for UAC. Peace.